Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So, as you can probably tell from the title of today's video, we are doing an unhaul. It is long overdue. I do do unhauls quite often because I do enjoy them. I really like getting books off my shelf that I just don't want to see there anymore. So today we're going to be doing an unhaul. I'm going to do it in the sort of unhaul with me style, so I'll take you through my bookshelves with me and pick them off sort of one by one. These are the sort of unhauls that I prefer to watch rather than, I guess, a list of books that I'm getting rid of. I'm going to pick them out and go through my reasoning for why I'm getting rid of them as I go and hopefully we'll get some good space on my shelves so that I can put my new hauled books on because I'm getting a little bit tight for space and I really want to put my gorgeous new books on my shelves. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. So I'm going to start with my first shelf which is starting over at white. To be honest I don't see that much on this shelf that I don't want to keep. I do really like the majority of these but yeah I don't think I see any on here that I desperately want to get rid of. That always seems to be the case with this first shelf is there's never much that I actually want to get rid of on here. So let's move along to the next one. So the next one is one of my little midley shelves and already I can see that I don't want to keep this. This is Meet Cute. This is sort of I guess an anthology of little Meet Cute romance stories by all of these authors here and I did like it when I was younger but it is very much a YA book and I'm not really into my YAs anymore and I'll never pick this up again and I don't really have any sort of you know attachment to it in the slightest so yeah that's one of the ones I'm gonna get rid of. I think I'm gonna keep all of these, I adore these two books, if you haven't read this series by Melanie Harlow I would recommend. I am going to be getting rid of all of my copies of Heartstopper um, by Alice Oseman. I Loved these when I read them, but I don't see myself ever rereading them. I've not watched the series or anything, I'm sort of not interested in the story anymore, I guess. I read these as and when they came out, so I'm not really bothered anymore, so I'm going to be getting rid of those, and I'm sure someone else will enjoy them. I'm going to keep Red, Bright and Royal Blue, and I'm going to definitely keep Window Shopping by Tessa Bailey. This is one of my absolute favourite books to ever exist, so <laughs> I would recommend that one. Highly. So moving along to my next shelf, we have one of our pink books. A lot of these are romances, funnily enough, because a lot of romances end up with pink spines. I really didn't like this book, so I don't think I'm going to be keeping hold of this one. I gave it one star, I think it was. It just irked me in so many ways, so I'm going to be getting rid of that one. I'm not sure on this one because I'm not a big fan, but I do like some of Riley Sager's other stuff, and I'm considering reorganising my bookshelves in a way where I will have, I guess, authors groups together and genres grouped together, so part of me wants to keep hold of this purely for the sake that I can then put it with my other Riley Sagers. No, no, I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna get rid of it. I don't need it. I don't want it. I didn't like it. <laughs> I am gonna get rid of It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. I don't think I've ever mentioned this before, but I am not a Colleen Hoover girly. I do not like her books. I read this one purely to see what the hype was about, to be honest with you. I read it like a year ago and I despised it. I know it's really popular on book talk and whatnot, but I do not like the things that it spoke about. I don't like how it glorified essentially abuse and I just, no, it's not for me. It's not for me. As for the rest of these books, I don't think there's any other ones I'm going to be getting rid of. I have a very sentimental attachment to the walled city, I can't reach, <laughs> to the walled city down there by Ryan Groudon. My dad got it for me and I don't think I'll ever be getting rid of it and I loved it. I would never reread it now because I don't think it would be my thing now but I don't think I have it in me to get rid of that book. Now we're moving on to my next shelf here which is a load of red books. I really really didn't like Daphne by Josh Malaman but I literally bought it like two weeks ago so I won't be getting rid of that just yet. I think I'm going to get rid of Simon vs. Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli. I read this I think a bit too late for me. I think I was sort of over my YA phase when I did read this and it just didn't hit the same as I'm sure it did for a lot of people and I'm just not bothered and I'm never going to read it again so I figured what's the point Point in owning it so I'm going to get rid of that. I also think I'm going to get rid of Anxious People by Frederick Backman. I did like this but it's one of those again where I'm never going to read it again and I think I got it for like two pounds. I don't have any sort of qualms with getting rid of this so this is also going. I think that is it for this shelf. I feel like these first few shelves I'm not getting very far but hopefully we'll get some more the further we go down. I'm just going to quickly show you this middle shelf because I don't think there's anything that I'm going to be getting rid of off of this one so I figured let's just move on to the next one. Let's start off with this one. I have wanted to get rid of this book for the longest time because I'm never going to reread it, I'm not bothered by it, but I got it at Shakespeare and Company in Paris and 
for that reason, I kind of want to hold on to it purely because of where I got it from. Here's another one of my Heartstopper copies. This is actually volume four, but like I said earlier, I'm going to be getting rid of all of these, so I'm going to take him off. Obviously keeping this one. I love her. I don't think I want to keep hold of this one. I read it. It was fine. I don't see myself ever rereading it. I have no attachment to it, so this one's also going to go. I'm going to get rid again. This is volume three of Heartstopper. This is also going. I think I'm also going to get rid of Forest of a Thousand Lanterns by Julie C. Dow. I did really like it when I read it, but it's another one of those ones that is a YA fantasy that I am never going to read again. I'm never going to reach for. Um, it is a fairy loot edition, I'm pretty sure. It's one of the early, yeah, early fairy loot editions. So it is signed, but I'm, I'm not bothered. And I think it's actually a series, but I will never be carrying this on. So there's no point of having it on my shelf. So this is one of the shelves that I do not like. I feel like the way that the colour is, it's just not coherent and I don't, <laughs> I don't like, I just don't like how it looks. This is a nice easy one. Hot stopper again. This is now. This is volume two. Damn, this isn't a very good. This isn't a very good shelf. I feel like there's not a lot on here. That might actually be it for this shelf. This is so disappointing. <laughs> right, let's move on. Let's move on to the next shelf. So this is another one of my sort of blue midley shelves. I think I'm gonna get rid of Salt to the Sea by Ruby Spetties. I did really like this when I read it. It's not really my thing anymore, and I don't really see the point in owning it anymore. So I'm gonna get rid. Now this, this bitch. <laughs> I hated this so much and I don't understand the people that do like this I found it so odd like this whole stepsister no no it's not for me as I said Colleen Hoover is not for me and it's one of those that I think I got from the works for like two quid so again I don't care that so on to my next shelf I'm gonna be getting rid of a man called Ove Uva I don't know how you pronounce that it's another Frederick Backman one I don't think I'll be reading any more Frederick Backman books they're not bad but they're not really my thing they're not really my thing the only one i can think of in here is Lord of the burning city by amanda foodie this is another one of my fairy loot ones back in it must have been like 2017 or 2018 when i had my fairy loot subscription yeah 2017 i did really like this actually when i read it i remember being quite surprised by how much i liked it and it is gorgeous but there's no point in me owning it so next shelf i was considering getting rid of the kingdom but i did get this I mean, I got it in America, so part of me wants to keep it because it is from America. But also, do I need to do that? No, I don't. I'm going to get rid of this. I did really like it at the time, but I'm not going to reread it. I am also going to get rid of Starflight by Melissa Landers. Again, loved this when I read this, but I must have read this back in 2016 or something like that. So not really my thing anymore. I don't need it, so I'm going to get rid. I'm going to also get rid of The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. I didn't like this very much. I think it is way too big for what was needed to be done in this book. You could have cut off like 200 pages and it still would have done the exact same job. So I'm gonna get rid. I am also gonna get rid of The Handmaid's Tale. I didn't like it, not gonna reread it. It's depressing. <laughs> so it's not one of those ones that you wanna reread anyway. So yeah, she's gonna go. I am also gonna get rid of Serpent and Dove by Shelby Mahurin. I feel like this is the theme of this unhaul is that yeah, I loved it when I read it, but will I reread it and would I love it now? No. So she's gonna go. I'm keeping all of these. I love The Frat Boy by Nikki Sloan. This is the best one in that series, personally. I adore. Also, can someone be upset with me about the fact that Praise isn't the same cover as the rest of the series? When I went to order the full series, all of these were still in the original cover, but for some reason they've redone this. And it's ugly as hell. <laughs> That's so ugly to me, but for some reason they changed just the first one for now. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this shelf. Let's go to the next one. We are now getting onto the part where it goes into my TBR. So from here onwards is my TBR. All of the ones before are books that I have read. I find it easier to unhaul books that I haven't read because it almost takes like the weight off my shoulders of I don't have to read that. If I'm not interested, I can just get rid. Um, I'm gonna get rid of Normal People, the scripts. I haven't read it, but I feel like my Normal People obsession has died down. I did read the actual Normal People book, hated it but the series I adore. But yeah, I don't think this is ever gonna get read, to be honest with you, so. I'm also gonna get rid of these two and I've just pulled this from the next shelf because it's sort of overflowed, but I'm gonna get rid of this series um, by Robin Hobb. I'm just not interested in reading this. I know people do like it, but looking at it, I have never ever wanted to pick it up and I've owned it for like three years probably. I think I might get rid of Library of the Unwritten by AJ Hackworth. I know that there have been very good things said about this, but it's been on my shelf again like two years and I have never reached for it. Actually, that's a lie. I reached for it once and I read the first 10 pages and I didn't like it, so I put it down. I think this is one that needs to go because I'm not going to read it. 
So part of me wants to get rid of the Discovery of Witches series because am I going to read them? Realistically? Realistically no, I'm not going to read them, I'm not. So I'm going to get rid of Discovery of Witches, Shadow of Night and The Book of Life. So this is the Discovery of Witches sort of trilogy, is it just a trilogy? I don't know, but I own the three books and I'm never going to read them, so they're going to go. This is looking so nice. I don't think I'm ever going to read this. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of She Who Became the Sun by Shelley Parker Chan. I adore this cover and I think this is so gorgeous and it pains me to get rid of hardbacks because hardbacks are my favourite, but I need to be realistic in that I'm not going to read this, so I'm going to get rid. I'm just going to very quickly show you this shelf because I'm not going to be getting rid of anything off of this, so I'm going to swiftly move on to the next one. I think I'm going to get rid of After I Do by Taylor Jenkins Reid, it's another one that's been sat there for ages. And I do really like Taylor Jenkins Reid, but this just doesn't stand out to me. I kind of prefer her books that are more like Seven Husbands or Carrie Soto's back. I love that. Her just general romances aren't always my thing, so I'm going to get rid of this. I'm also going to get rid of The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. It's another one that I know is very popular and I know everyone loves, but it is one that I purely got because of the hype and I didn't think about the fact that it's not my type of book at all, really. So she's gonna go. I'm also gonna get rid of The Devil and the Dark Water by Stuart Turton. I, again, heard amazing things about this. I know Meg with Books, for example, really liked it. I think she's the reason why I ended up picking it up. And I got it for cheap because it was like a damaged copy, but it has sat on my shelves for a very long time and I have no interest. I think I pulled it in like a TBR game once and was like actually upset about the fact that I had to read it. And if I'm upset about having to read a book, I feel like that is reason enough to not read it and just to get rid, because you shouldn't be reading books that physically upset you to have to read. So she's gonna go. This one is a little bit harder to film because it's on like my floor. So I'm just gonna hold the camera to show you this one. But I will not be getting rid of Sundial. I'm really excited to read that actually. I actually don't think there's any on this shelf that I wanna get rid of. Yeah, that might actually be it. I did put this book aside because I am gonna be getting rid of this. I have already gotten rid of the other, what, two books in this series? I don't like it and I don't need to own it, so this is also being added to my part. I also have three other books that I had put away ahead of time that I was gonna get rid of. I haven't got rid of yet, so I figured that I would show you. So I have My Heart is a Chainsaw by Stephen Graham Jones. I tried to read this. Believe me, I tried. I think I got like a good, almost 100 pages in. I really didn't like this and I know everyone loves it. It's not for me, this one is, this one's going. Um, I also have This Is How You Lose A Time War. I have heard, again, great things, but it's something that doesn't interest me. I think I've established on this channel that I'm not a big fan of like pretty writing and flowery writing and I have a fear that this is gonna be exactly that. So she's gone. And then finally, Kind of sadly, I have The Heart Principle by Helen Huang. I loved The Kiss Quotient and is it The Bride Test? Is that the second one? I loved those, but I have only heard bad things about this book and it has made me really, really hesitant to pick it up. And I've owned it since it came out and I've still not read it. So I figured what's the point in it being sat on my shelves when I just don't care. So she's also going. So that is it for the unhaul, but this is what we have. Quite a good stack over here. Quite a few down here as well. These are all the books that need to be added to my shelves because these are the ones that I've hauled recently. <laughs> so they all need to go on there. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'm going to quickly count them to let you know how many. And then that's us done. So I've counted and in total we have 29 books that I'm getting rid of. I did have a quick peek to see if I could make it 30, but I can't. <laughs> but 29 I feel like is pretty good. This is editing Ellen hopping in to say, I forgot those books. So it's actually 34? Yeah. It's actually 34 books that I got rid of. I completely forgot the ones that I just put on the top of my shelves. I'm going to put these probably on something like Facebook Marketplace or Olio because I, I don't want any money for them. I just want them gone. So I'll just see if anyone fancies picking them up. But yeah, thank you very much for watching everyone. I have a very nice empty shirt. Well, I have a few gaps. This one is gorgeous. <laughs> I have a few gaps um, that I'm going to immediately fill up with these. But yeah, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.